Welcome back. In the last step, we tried to understand what's happening in the background. What's happening in the background when we are running a Spring application, how Spring creates beans, how it manages dependencies, and all that kind of fun stuff. We saw that we created an instance of the bubble sort bean. Now, what would happen if I put a component on the quick sort algorithm as well? So now there are two things that are matching. So now there are two components, right? So quick sort algorithm also is a sort algorithm and also bubble sort algorithm is a sort algorithm. In the previous example, we saw that auto wiring was taking place by type sort algorithm. So this was also a sort algorithm, quick sort also was a sort algorithm and bubble sort also is a sort algorithm. In the earlier example, only we have bubble sort was having a component. So spring picks up bubble sort and it says there's only one component of that type. So it auto wires it in here. What we did now is we added a component on quick sort also. So there are two components on the class path. What does Spring do to resolve that? Let's try that and figure out a lot of variations of this concept. Let's run this application. Failed to start. Binary search IMPL requires a single bean, but actually two were found. So it's saying I need one sort algorithm, but you are giving me two. I can go ahead and remove the add component from the bubble sort algorithm. So I can say, okay, I don't want to use you. I removed that component from it. So what would happen now? Okay, it's using the quick sort algorithm. So that went through fine. Other way you can have done that is by using something called at primary. So now you have two components on the class path. So if you have two components on the class path of the same type, then I can make one of them primary at primary and press command one. You can see that I have bubble sort at component, quick sort at component, and I have added in at primary. Let's see which one is used. Okay, it's using quick sort because quick sort has at primary. If you have more than one component matching a specific type, you can use at primary to give more importance to one of those components. A lot of students getting started with Spring find it difficult to understand what's happening in the background. Since you have a good understanding of it, you would be in good shape to solve any problems that would come up. So let's say, what I'll do is I'll remove add component from the bubble sort algorithm. So now both the algorithms, both quick sort and bubble sort, they don't have component on them. So quick sort also we remove the component from. And now let's run the application. The log says application failed to start. So it says binary search IMPL requires a bean of type sort algorithm, but nothing was found for that. So neither the Quick sort algorithm, not the bubble sort algorithm, had a component on them. So they will not be found by the Spring framework when it searches for components. Or if you are actually, let's say, I removed the add component on this as well. So let's go to binary search IMPL and remove add component from here. What would happen? Spring will not find any beans. So it will not create any beans at all. I've removed add component from everywhere. What would happen? It says, in main, no such bean exception. So where is the error coming up? You know it. Here, we are doing a get bean. We are trying to, from the application context, we are trying to get the bean of class binary search IMPL. But what we did here is we removed the add component for it. Spring will not know about binary search IMPL at all. So Spring is complaining. I have no idea what you are searching for. Go and tell me where you, what you want me to do. So by the errors which it throws, you'd be able to understand what's happening in the background. If I add add component, now it says I'm searching for sort algorithm, but I'm unable to find it. You have to make sure that you define an add component in here. So now I can go here and add add component, add primary, whatever I would want to add in. And now I can run the application, you would see that it picks up the right one. Because I put primary on the bubble sort, it picks that up. Whenever you have any problems of the type, a bean is not found or multiple beans are found. See if you have used the right combination of add component, add auto wired and add primary. Those are the important things you would need to know to be able to troubleshoot any problem with Spring Framework. So in this step, we looked at at primary and also we looked at a few troubleshooting tips related to solving spring context issues. Until the next step, bye-bye.